Most people assume that the moment an eye doctor sees a cataract, that they'll immediately want to get you into a surgery center and try to remove it. And if you choose not to, then we'll make you feel like you're going to go blind at any moment. Well, actually, none of that's true. In this video, I'm going to explain what cataracts are, how they are formed, how to slow it down, and how do you know whether or not you need cataract surgery. So let's focus on cataracts. I'm Dr. Shania from True Focus Eye Care. Our goal at True Focus is to provide eye care and vision related education and advice to our patients, whether they're in our office or not. So if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then consider subscribing by clicking that little red button below so you don't miss any of our new videos. What is a cataract? Making these videos always challenges my way of communicating simple concepts that I talk about every day. So when I'm asked what a cataract is, my usual answer is, so a cataract is the normal aging process of this lens in the back of the eye that gets a little cloudy and gets in the way of our vision. Simple, right? But then I started overthinking it, which is something that I'm prone to do. But cataracts are actually the visible result of a process in the eyes caused by oxidative changes, not a growth of something unnatural like a tumor. I've had many patients tell me that they were told that they are in the early stages of cataract formation and they were scared to death that it might have gotten worse. So we can think of the formation of cataracts like the formation of gray hair. It's annoying, but it's natural. So I'm only 34 and look at all this. Are you kidding me? In another video, I explain how our lens works and I'll have that link up here. That lens allows us to focus up close and far away when we were younger. Then it starts to become less flexible in our 40s. That lens is actually made up of water, protein, lipids, and carbohydrates. And when some of these proteins become disrupted or somehow changed, the once clear lens becomes foggy or cloudy. How are cataracts formed? Cataracts are formed by the oxidative stress due to lifestyle, diet, UV radiation absorption and injuries, and well, just being alive. What we allow into our bodies plays a big role in how quickly cataracts are formed. We find those who spend more time outdoors, especially those who don't routinely use eye protection like sunglasses or hats, tend to get cataracts at an earlier age. And also smoking and poor eating habits can speed up this process as well. There are many types of cataracts that are formed and how much they affect our vision is based on where they're located in the eyes. Those who form cataracts that are located a little bit more central in the eye or the vision tend to need surgical intervention at a younger age. My dad had his cataracts removed when he was around 45 because his cataracts decided they wanted to start forming right in the center of his lens. Remember, anybody who has eyes and is alive will form a cataract eventually, but not all will actually need cataract surgery. Mm -hmm. As long as you have the ability to uh, complete your normal daily activities and you don't feel like you have to give up any of these activities because of your vision, then you don't need to have surgery. How do you slow it down? Protecting your eyes from stress caused by outside and inside forces is the best way to slow down progression. To protect yourself from outside forces, you can start by wearing sunglasses with UV protection. And not just when you're older. Kids, start wearing those sunglasses now so you can protect your eyes from early damage and create a good habit that you'll be able to carry out when you're older. Also, don't forget your wide-brimmed hats. Your skin will appreciate it too. To protect your eyes from inside forces, you wanna make sure that you're getting a good supply of antioxidants. So your vitamin A, B, C, and E are great antioxidants. Vitamin A protects us from other conditions in the eye like macular degeneration also. Specifically carotenoids like lutein and zeaxanthin and mesozeaxanthin, which are found in dark leafy greens and red, yellow, orange fruits and veggies. So yes, carrots are good for your eyes. Remember what I said earlier, if you can get the job done, then you're not required to get the cataracts removed. But keep this in mind, I have many patients who have told me that if they knew how much better their vision would be after cataract surgery, then they would have gotten it done a long time ago. So you should be able to rely on your optometrist or your ophthalmologist to make sure you know when it would be a good idea to have that surgery. We see cataracts all the time and we hear complaints and struggles of those who keep waiting years after year because of fear or stubbornness. 
Vision goes hand in hand with the quality of life. Our goal is to make sure that your eyes don't get in the way of that life. I'll explain the process of cataract surgery in another video, as well as what's next after cataract surgery. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss other videos like this one. And make sure you click that little bell icon. So don't forget to stay well, stay focused, and we'll see you next time.